Remember Ice Cube's diss song back at Easy A, isn't it? Easy E in them called No Vaseline? Well, here's what they think about you, the Dems. Here's what they think about you, the Democrats. Here's what they think about you, Joe Biden. Here's what they think about you, the party. You all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. Here's what they think about. You all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. Interesting, huh? In other words, he passes off the African-American community, as he called it, as a bunch of fools who will always go against their own interests because they do not have the ability to think outside the box that these Democrats put them in way back in 64. Here's what they think about you. Here's the rest. Oh, and stick with me to the end because I got a bombshell for you that most of y'all probably didn't pay attention to because it was on C-SPAN. All right, but you'll see an ongoing thing, theme with how the Dems really think about you and why that so-called black man will never get no respect from them because black men don't respect other brothers that come up with information that's different from what they mama told them and their grandmama. So they would rather follow behind the skirts of a female than listen to strong brothers that have done research. And when those strong brothers come up, they would shut down the truth that they bring to them. Hosea says, my people perish for not lack of knowledge. But it isn't that they lack knowledge, it's because they reject it. So because we reject knowledge, he will reject us. Or let me say that he will reject y'all. Because I'm not rejecting knowledge. Period. I won't reject truth and evidence either. Period. Too bad not many so-called brothers have that mentality. What's worse yet is that most will still vote for these clowns even after what I show you in this video. You know why? Because they will refuse to watch because they don't want to know what the truth is. So guess what? Here's what they think about you. The Harris pick shows that the Dems have absolutely no respect for the so-called black man. Yet, this lack of respect, with this lack of blatant disrespect, how many of them will still vote, um, how many black men will still vote for them, the Dems? How many black men will still think that Trump is worse than Biden? All right, I, I'm, I'm with the people that don't want to vote for anybody. But to vote for the people that's putting the racism in your face. But see, they got the media and everything working for them. All right, understand this. Here's what they think about you. Y'all better get a clue. All right, this is the reluctant Nabi. Let me greet everybody real quick. Talafalava soy fua. Havort and hardu gudab. Ola oi to the ben. To the bay, Vasas Los Bonjour Miss Me, Kedu Bawini Kwenichi Wa, Nihon Yama, Sani Bonani, Jumbo Herbargani, Asalamu Alaikum, and Shalom. The biggest problem right now in the entire community is they are led by, it is led by the Negro Pen that put so much fake on, stuff on them, it's ridiculous, 
but all the fake stuff and the lies that they throw up in the so-called black man's face is accepted by most of these black men. That's why people continue to do it. Period. And those same dudes are, will be the same ones that will shut down the truth. Why? Because they're too busy chasing the behind. Think about that for a second. Before I move on, let me remind you, um, it's about that time, I have, I want to do a lot and have a little time to do it. So my donation link for my Cash App and my PayPal me will be in the description box, okay? And y'all know what to do with the thumbs up. Share the video. For those of you that are in groups, please share the videos, all right? Please share this video on Facebook in your groups. I will be posting this on YouTube and BitChute, all right? On Facebook and in your groups, if you belong to any groups. Share amongst your friends, because this is important. Y'all will see what I mean in a minute. Oh yeah, we brought receipts. Some of you all may have remembered this speech, but pay, pay attention to it. The fourth challenge is to take back our streets from crime, gangs, and drugs. And we have actually been making progress on this count as a nation because of what local law enforcement officials are doing, because of what citizens and neighborhood patrols are doing. We're making some progress. Much of it is related to the initiative called community policing because we have finally gotten more police officers on the street. That was one of the goals that the president had when he pushed the crime bill that was passed in 1994. He promised 100,000 police. We're moving in that direction, but we can see it already makes a difference because if we have more... The fourth challenge is to take back our streets from crime, gangs, and drugs. And we have actually been making progress on this count as a nation because of what local law enforcement officials are doing, because of what citizens and neighborhood patrols are doing. We're making some progress. Much of it is related to the initiative called community policing because we have finally gotten more police officers on the street. That was one of the goals that the president had when he pushed the crime bill that was passed in 1994. He promised 100,000 police. We're moving in that direction, but we can see it already. So they must bring black people to heal. They are the low totem pole of the big drug cartels that are run by the white people. But they don't need to bring the Caucasian people to heal because they're not dogs. They need to arrest them. But no, you got to bring the black little children to heal because Hillary Clinton refers to little black children that haven't gotten a chance because they paid the mamas to kick out good men with subpar housing and food stamps. They, she wants them to be brought to heal. Not healed, but brought to heal. Foot on their heel. Brought into submission. Brought back into... When you bring a dog to heal, you let the dog know who your who's his who his master is. Understand what this talk means. She's saying we need to let these little black children know that we, the Caucasian people, the Democrats, are their masters. Wonder how many people caught it. I bet you most of the old people down south caught it because they recognized the language. Period. But I wonder how many others caught it. But a bunch of black people ignored this to the tune that Hillary won a popular vote, got most of the black women to vote for her. She got most of these dudes that she just called dogs to vote for her. But you know who they mad at? Trump. Ooh, but this gets worse, y'all. Oh, this gets juicy. All right? Pay attention. 
probably don't know who this guy is. Y'all know this woman is Kamala Harris. So what is the relationship between the two? Well, let's look at the LA Times and find out. This man was an innocent man. Kamala Harris kept this dude behind bars two years, two years after George, after a judge order, orders his release. And she fought tooth and nail to keep somebody that she knew was an innocent man behind bars. As a matter of fact, she, along with Joe Biden, has a record of jailing a bunch of Afro men. That's what they're known for. Not Caucasian men. Uh, understand this. When you look at the crime rate, white people commit way more crimes than black people. Obviously, because there are more of them. All right. Now, maybe to the two percent of the black population, we have a bet worse problem. But then again, maybe not. You see, because you see, because Caucasian people get away with a lot because this is their system. Their system and these laws were designed to be against us from the beginning and nothing's changed. And nothing will change because they conditioned the modern day Negro to vote for Massa despite with how much how badly Massa whips them with the whip. How badly, regardless of how badly the Massa talks about them. But Trump can talk about illegal immigrants. And black people get mad and call him racist, even though those guys are taking away the jobs of legal immigrants and black people. But they don't care, even though they're taking the benefits of the legal immigrants and black people. But they still don't care. He's racist for that. They don't like him for that. But Joe Biden can straight up call them racist names to their face and they'll vote for, with, for him because that's massive. The Democratic Party is massive. How do you know this? Because who else would settle for this? Daniel Larson is who the guy was. He was in a California prison serving the life sentence when he received news that he had awaited for more than a decade. So he was already there for a decade. A federal court in Los Angeles had thrown out his conviction for carrying a concealed knife. Two judges concluded that the jurors who convicted Larson would have never have found him guilty had they heard from the additional witness who saw a different man with a knife. Larson's attorney, who was since who has since been disbarred. See, this is the other problem. We don't ever get good representation. We get people that don't care about us that will railroad us right into this system. And everybody knows it. But his, um, he failed to adequately investigate the case, so he didn't, he didn't investigate the case and identify the witness before the trial. The judges found, so they just set him up. But two years after he was supposed to be released, Larson remains behind bars while the California Attorney General uh, appeals the decision. So, guess who the California Attorney General was? The state's main argument, he did not foul. This is her main argument. He did not file his legal paperwork seeking the release on time. So California Attorney General Kamala D. Harris, y'all heard me, California Attorney General Kamala D. Harris, whose office remain, uh, remain, uh, maintains that evidence still points to Larson's guilt, accuses um, him and his attorneys of filing a petition and seeking his release more than six years after he was legally required to do so. So she don't care about justice when it comes to Afro men. He didn't file his petition on time. Six years after he was legally required to do so, prosecutors questioned whether the judge had the authority to hear Larson's petition for release. So she don't care about 
him being innocent. She just wanted another black man in jail, in prison. Innocence has nothing to do with this. But any prosecutor with a heart, like the one that released Brian Banks, would have saw this and said, yeah, we got the wrong man. That's if there is justice in the United States. But because there is a transition to eliminate the Afro men from all walks of life by the black women and black women only and their zaddy. Understand this. If you notice, everybody that's being picked for position, college, university, or whatever, is a, that, that comes from the Afro community in the name of diversity is black women, especially in politics. And the old heads that's been betraying us from the beginning in politics are clapping their hands because they ain't nothing but the sellout sambos. And that's, they do their job to keep us set up. All right. So now this gets deeper yet. And this is where you need to pay attention. Remember, bring them the hill. Remember referring to us as dogs. Remember referring to us as super predators. Well, her partner, Kamala Harris' partner, Joe Biden, Biden, had a lot to say about Afro people. And he admits that Caucasian people are the ones that set the system up to disadvantage the Afro man. But listen to his words. So, now listen to his words. So, I hope this crime bill, when it passes, the Biden-Hatch crime bill, as it becomes... It is the Biden-Hatch crime bill. So this wasn't Clinton's crime bill. He just signed it. This is, some, this is the brainchild at the time of Joe Biden. He'll explain his reasoning behind making this crime bill that put more black men in prison unjustly some just than anyone else the worst thing for us and these black dudes are going to vote for him again because they hate the dude Trump who was getting people out of prison because they were doing too much ridiculous time comes law God willing I hope that we will have ended once and for all this notion that is a hangover from the 60s, that somehow Democrats are weak on crime and Democratic presidents are weak on crime and Republicans are tough on crime. The truth is, every major crime bill since 1976 that's come out of this Congress, every minor crime bill has had the name of the Democratic Senator from the state of Delaware, Joe Biden, up. Every major and minor crime bill. This dude signed every major and minor crime bill that incarcerated so many Afro people. Oh, he'll go into why. On that bill, and has had a majority vote of the Democratic members of the United States Senate on the bill. So the Senate wasn't for you either. The Democrats are not for you. So one of the things I want to do in addition to end the crime is end the political carnage that goes on when we talk about crime. Crime is not Democrat or Republican. Making the streets safe is not a Democratic or Republican issue. This is one of those issues I hope this passage of this bill will do, will be taken out of the gridlock category and moved into an emerging consensus. And the consensus is as follows, and I will cease. When I finish this thing. The consensus is A, we must take back the streets. It doesn't matter whether or not the person that is accosting your son or daughter or my son or daughter, my wife, your husband, my mother, your parents, 
It doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have to uh, become a, a social uh, become socialized into the fabric of society. This is why corporation jails were made because to them it didn't matter. They took away the advantage. They took the fathers out of the house on purpose. They made the deal with the black woman on purpose to not ever produce children with um, good men. All right. But take welfare and all the benefits. Oh, yeah. And let's make this child support thing, too, so that not only do we take them out of the house, but you can get some of his money and the child don't ever have to see that the father was there trying to be there for them. And the black women agreed with this. Why? Because now they got political clout. They're all happy that they destroyed the men and the community to get a woman in the office of the vice president. They will think they have arrived to what? You got one person in position, but you destroyed the entire community out of vanity. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. The policy of fear, there it is, right? But remember, most crime that Afro people commit is black on black. So they're trying to funnel people into jails to serve white people as slaves again, but only through the prison system. So I don't want to ask, what, what made, made them, them do this? this? They, they must be taken, taken off the street. street. That's, That's number, number one. one. There's, There's a consensus, consensus on that. that. The, the Democratic, Democratic chairman of the Judiciary, Judiciary Committee, Committee, the Democratic president of the United States, States of America, America, the Democratic Attorney General, the Republican leader, the Republican leader of this effort, Senator Hatch, the Republican, Republican senator, senator from Texas, Texas we all agree on that. that. Now, now we, we can find, find some fringe, fringe folks in the study groups on the right wing and left wing, wing libertarians and and uh, and, and left wingers in my party who say no, nah, that's, that's not what we should do. do. But, but politically, that, that consensus has been arrived at. I acknowledge there was not that consensus in the '60s. There, there is today. today. There's, There's a, a second thing, thing that we hold on. In the '60s, keep in mind it was the Democratic police that was sicking dogs and fire hoses on. Black people. Understand this. It was the Democrats in the 60s that was sicking dogs and fire hoses on black people. It was the Democrats that were the police officers that were beating black people over the head with billy clubs, bloodying them. But, you know, that's OK, because, you know, it doesn't matter because this dude said illegal immigrants. So he a racist. But the guys that beat us, suck sick dogs on our ancestors, made all these crime bills, put us in uh, in jail, unrighteously incarcerated us, kept us in prison when we were even innocent. That's okay. So if that's okay with you guys, then you deserve what you get after you put them in office. We all have agreed upon. And, and that, that is, is unless, unless we do something about that cadre of young people, people tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, wedlock without, without parents, without, without supervision, supervision, without any structure, without, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized, they literally have not had an opportunity. We, we should, should focus, focus on, on them, them now, now. Not, not out of a liberal instinct for love, brother, and humanity, humanity, although I think that's a good, good instinct, but for simple, pragmatic reasons. reasons. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. Predators. 15 years from now. See what he called the children back in 1994? Predators. 
Oh, he hasn't stopped. So now, when you put it all together, in the beginning, he said, we are not capable of thinking independently or having independent thought. We have no vers versatility in how we think about things. And the truth of the matter is, he's partially right, only because the BAW sick her minions and their minions are so stupid that these guys shut down dialogue and truth when brothers are trying to say something to them, especially the younger ones. All right, so we're done. You want to vote for him? Vote for him. But you get what you get. All right, brothers, SYSBM, uh, Dwight said, well, it's no longer a warning. It's, it's a motion. And he's right. Now it is time to save yourself. You're on your own. All right. Find like brothers to get together with. Because you are on your own. I hope now that you realize it. Because anytime somebody could do this much damage to Afro men, the community, set the women up to um, lard over the men so that things are out of order and the children are destroyed. Play to the black woman's vanity to the point where she would destroy her own community just to get a position um, in, in the system of the Caucasian man with whom has destroyed us through unrighteousness and all of this, then something is really wrong all the way around. And for the few brothers that can hear this message, it's just time to go and leave them alone. Here is the problem. These clowns that are being raised by these single mothers have one thing that it, it, it is the one thing that Biden is saying is true. All they want is this. A big booty and a smile, they don't even have to smile. Right? These women will go after the worst of men and then blame the men trying their best to be good men for their bad decisions. No, they need to be left alone. The clowns, the clowns will fight you tooth and nail, even though they're wrong, because they don't care about being wrong. They have the feelings and in their emotions, just like their mama. Because instead of wanting to be a man, they would have preferred to be like their mama. That's the difference between the brothers that grow up out and away from their mama and start thinking like men, even if they get into questionable endeavors. And then the ones that all in their emotions can't think straight and all they want to do is fight other Afro men. Oh, but they won't go after their zaddy though. Massa. And what's worse is Massa is, Massa is so thorough that Massa got the female as the Massa over most of these dudes. And none of them see a problem that, wait a minute, there are no Afro men being promoted in the Democratic Party. There are no new Afro men being promoted in the Democratic Party. They're only promoting women. You know why? Because women will go with the system and if you get a new breed of Afro men, he may man up and think against the system. That's why they wanted women in lead positions in our community. But if you notice, in the Caucasian community, it's led by men, politically, through the family, and every other way. Remember that burning house I told y'all that they integrated us into? Oh yeah, it's on hell of fire now. With that said, I'm out. Don't forget, check out BitChute. It'll be in the, the links will be in the description box.